What is up everyone? This is Sorkin090 and this is gonna be Operation Bedrock number 172 to 172nd episode. If I cannot actually stutter right now, that this is 172nd episode of Operation Bedrock, the series where my friends are able to mine the entire world until there's nothing but bedrock left except for the floor, of course, because well we need something flat to walk on. And currently who I have here with me in this episode, it is RCT Hipster and as well as Flex Medusa. So say hello everyone. Hi. Hello. And what we're going to be doing is that we're going to do a lot of mining and talking. Pretty much exactly like every single episode thus far. So I'm just happy that more and more friends are actually being online to be able to help us to do the commentary. Because some people said that you really need to do a dual commentary or you need to bring your friends online to actually help you talk. And yes, that is true. It's better to actually have more people online so that we can actually have a conversation so it's not all about me. Because that's conceited. And it's bad. Being conceited is bad. But in any case, is has anything happened to you guys other than Flex Medusa's binge watching spree of the Game of Thrones, which I have no knowledge on the series because I don't watch it. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> How would I even get the reference? I just feel so out of Medusa place. Medusa what? Medusa, Medusa got the reference. Up, up, yeah. I messed up, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. Oh god, you snap. I forgot. See, this is why I'm the fire squad. No, it's, be I'm the lava it's squad. because I forgot to actually put blocks. I forgot to put blocks in my inventory. Whoops. Yep, that's a major fail. Can we do a retake? No. Okay. Any case, just get this out of the way, and then we're good. It's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal. Just I made myself look stupid in my own series, but hey, that's normal. I'm always a fool. And torches. Torches, 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 and we're good. I forgot that I had torches. I have not been on my world in such a long time. Most of our attention is being focused on Operation Dome. We just want to get that out of the way. Just finish it. Just finished one thing that I've started. That's all I want to do right now. So once that's done, then we'll be able to focus all of our attention in Operation Bedrock, which will be great. Because honestly, we really need to get some work done on Operation Bedrock. Yeah, splitting the time between the two series is just being really, really hectic and really, really just counterproductive at this point. And I still need a new chair. If you guys have any suggestions for a chair that I could actually buy, let me know. Post an Amazon link or let me search it up on Amazon. Then I possibly could make a review about it because I've been spending a lot of time actually making reviews on the things I buy on Amazon. For God's sakes, you could actually search me on Amazon or not, well, Google actually. If you were to type Sorkin 090 Amazon, you'll find two of my reviews. One of them is on a can of Pringles. Don't judge me. I got it for free because I had a lot of credits saved up and I just got free chips out of it. So I just made a review just for the heck of it. The other review that I actually was serious about is the actual pop filter that I am using. It's pretty good, guys. It's pretty good. And if the price is still the same for under 20 bucks, it's still worth it. I like it. It hasn't broken down on me. And I've moved it. I've twisted it. I've done just a lot of movements with the pop filter and it has yet to tear down or break on me so it's very good good quality and you're able to bend the gooseneck and all that other stuff it's pretty good quality and also it's a little bit of a feature where you're able to actually twist the clamp onto the actual microphone stand so that is a definite plus as well one of the things I'm actually thinking about doing is actually making Amazon review videos. So whenever I actually buy something from Amazon and if I really want to make a review video of it, then I will do so because a lot of people really require or really want to see a visual type of review on the product. Ow, 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 ow fair. I'm going to die. Ah, you won't die. I'm going to die. You won't die. Did you die? Made it. Made it. Told you you weren't going to die. He totally wasn't going to die. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're on peaceful mode. If anything else, then the only, the only way you can die is that if you have low health and you just stand in the lava for a while. But again, maybe people would actually like to see a visual representation or visual demonstration of the product itself. So not only could it actually help my reviews, it could also be another thing I actually do on the side and have some use for my camera that I bought. It's a $300 camera, and I don't use it as often, so I really need to use it more. 
The one thing I would want Amazon to do is allow us to have some custom URLs for our profiles. If they ever get around to it, that'd be great. But until then, at least you could change the public name. So you could just search me up on Google and then you will find it. If anything else, I will just post a link to the Amazon profile below. So you get to see the reviews I've done. Kind of find the edge of this huge lava pit. Well, the only way to actually find that out is to actually go upstairs. Gotta make a little staircase and then you'll be able to find the actual pool of lava. Seems like to be, it's really big because there's like lava everywhere on this one little area. But my yeah. motto, that you deal with it now or you deal with it later. So, it's better to deal with it now. And oh. the worst I've ever done was probably a good old 2,000 blocks of oh. lava. I'm having a little bit of lag up here. I don't like having lag next to lava. Well, things happen. Because a lot of lava will cause some lag. At least for some servers. Hasn't caused me lag, but of course I'm the host. I think I found it. Oh, there's a water source right next to it. That's weird. How am I missing this lava spot? That's what I want to know. Okay. Unless it's, this is just a tiny pool. There's a water source right next to it. Ah, uh, good to know. There's underneath it. Uh-huh. Here, I'll... I'll cup out the lava, or not the water. This may have just been a tiny little source of lava. Why, well, yes. Yes, it is. How did we miss this? This is all but a tiny source. Oh. Um, Medusa, I'm right above you. Yep, that's all but a tiny source. God dang it, I hate it when lava is like that. So when does oh. Season 6 of the Game of Thrones come out? The last release date I saw was, like, another six months. Like in April? Yeah. They were supposed to be doing it now, but something happened and got delayed. As I got, last night I got down to the last two episodes of Season 5, and my girls or went out of town today. Because, like, I'm not waiting until Wednesday to, or, to have to wait to watch the season finale, so we stayed up till midnight. We start Where'd watching watch it, it at? at night. At home, somebody gave me a a free subscription to HBO Go. Nice. And um, like we start watching it at night, nine thirty in the morning, and we finished at like twelve thirty last night. That was weird. It was just a a four. That was a four block of lava. That was weird. Yeah, lava patterns are so weird. But I probably will never have the time to actually binge watch an HBO special. I'm probably not going to be able to find it on YouTube regardless. Unless surprisingly it is on YouTube. Yeah, somebody gave me a free subscription to Netflix and HBO Go. Lucky yeah, right? you. But god damn, we have to deal with a lot of obsidian. That is just the worst. Although that's going to help oh. out with the obsidian cage regardless. So that whenever I get around to killing more withers, then that'll be another thing. I'm going to clear out the ones that, weren't, that are just sticking out. But like I said, just deal with the lava now or deal with it later is better to deal with it now. Yeah. Even though it's so annoying. Well, you know, the block that... Uh, yeah, it's this one. The block that's directly on top of me has a water source. Yeah, I can see the water dripping. But one of the things is, is that I want to know how many lava spots we're going to find once we do the huge project when we're done with Operation Dome and we're done with this quadrant. It's going to be a doozy, guys. It's going to be a doozy. And we're probably going to even find some of my older tunnels that, well, has been mined out. And I've been asked this before. Why aren't you using enchanted tools? Well, because I have not been killing Wither Skeletons lately. That's pretty much the only reason why I get levels now. Unless if I really want to do all the mining, but that's going to be reserved for another time. Because there's a lot of redstone, there's a lot of iron, coal, lapis lazuli, and diamonds that I've left alone in this whole entire quadrant. So once I mine that all up, that could be another mining special. And that could showcase another song that one of my favorite artists has been making. He really makes good music. Who? I'm trying to remember the name exactly, unless that's just his name. It is Desmian, and he has a YouTube channel called I Am Desmian. 
so you can look that up or that you can look up a lot of the well what's it called royalty free or copyright free type of music channels and he's usually featured on one of those he shares his music freely to everyone you can use it just as long as you give credit that's one of the reasons why I have both his songs for an intro and an intro for the time being before my computer crashed and I lost the intro and intro. So yeah, heck, I even directly messaged him. He he was kind enough to actually give me the links to the downloads. So that's great on him. I love it when artists it actually maybe. branches out. I found diamonds, but it's a little further up. I'm trying to fill this lava pit in, but I'm not too worried about the diamonds so far. We got a lot of diamonds, no, but I just like yeah, how. I didn't touch but I just like how the artist went out of his way to actually help me out with one of the questions I had. I asked him if I could get the instrument of a version of it, and he actually looked for it. But sadly, that it actually got deleted after a crash or a hard drive failure. So yeah, we had a small little conversation. So if I could get permission for one of his other songs, I would really want to use it for my intro. It's pretty, it's pretty upbeat. So I would like to see that happen. Well, this happened earlier today. Well, I was actually on Minecraft. I actually got spammed requested by one person for over 14 messages within the time span of 10 minutes. Yeah, I I've been spammed a couple of times. I know what it's like. Yeah, but I kind of feel guilty due to the fact that when you guys are featured in my videos, people see your names and then they'll actually spam you and trying to get in contact with me rather than messaging me directly. Honestly, most of the time that they message me, I'm usually on Call of Duty, and it, usually it's like, hey, I want to play with you. Well, that is fine, but it's like, if you want to help out with the series and all, I already have a video just saying that you're going to have to fill out the application so that if I get to it, then I could actually see who is actually taking the time to go the extra mile and following the one simple thing I asked. But when somebody spends 10 minutes actually spamming me, that is not a good way to go. That is not a good way for anyone to go. Yes, it gets the attention, but it gets the negative attention. And usually a lot of people don't really speak out on this because they don't want to seem like the bad guy in it all because there's no kind way of actually saying it without making yourself look mean. And I'm not trying to be mean, but that is the one thing a lot of people tend to ignore. Even the bigger YouTubers out there. I'm just a small YouTuber in comparison, but even I get spammed. And it's kind of, it's just... Although it's kind of flattering, but at the same time, it is annoying because if it happens to you, you would ignore the message and you would not spend time actually responding to it. But to do that to somebody else and then expect them to actually respond to it, then that's just another story. I remember earlier this year, Pure PewDiePie disabled his comments. I think he was like one of the first major YouTubers to do it. No, somebody else has already done it. I think it was either Total Brit, uh, Biscuit or the Cynical Brit. And he has his own little forum website for you to actually post your comments on because it's already been monitored by admins and all that other stuff. And PewDiePie did that. And now that the comments have been restored on his newer videos, as far as I've seen. Honestly, I fell out of PewDiePie. I never really watched PewDiePie to begin with. I've only seen like one or two videos. I'm more into watching Markiplier play video games in PewDiePie. I remember when Markiplier yeah, I first, agree. like, I remember when first, like, Markiplier first came out into making videos. A lot of people were kind of bashing on him because they were thinking he's a PewDiePie clone. Yeah, I remember seeing him right before he became uh, FNAF King. Same here. I actually enjoyed his videos more than PewDiePie, and I know I'm probably going to get hate, but it's like, yeah, it's an opinion, but on the internet, if you make an opinion, you're making a war statement. Have you heard of the YouTuber Jaffa? Nope. Nope. I mean, he, he's pretty good. Like, he, he does a lot of stuff, like, my world is like the underground cities, but it's pretty cool. Is he a Minecraft YouTuber, a Let's Player? Uh, let ah, uh, how did I freaking die? Well, apparently you went into lava. I saw that you were yeah. digging near us. Where I found you? Yeah, that's weird. There's no lava over here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there is. There's lava right there, but we have a staircase have, have somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Where's your stuff at? 
I picked it up. Oh, you did? Okay. No, it's like if you, like if you're interested. In, I mean, he he's all right. I mean, he plays on PlayStation Four, but his name's Jaffa, J O F A. Oh, um, Sword is standing directly over a lava block. Um, Who? That's awkward. Sword's standing directly over a lava block. I'm gonna move him without killing myself with lava. Need to. Oh, it's not enabled. Crap, I can't move him. That update has been long gone. You're not mm. able to move anyone. Yeah, uh, you, you almost fell in lava. I didn't fall in lava unless someone was mining under me. I, I was, I, I almost did. Yeah. Just make sure you look for the name tags. But yeah, that was just a weird little bug, I guess, that happened. You just never know what's going to happen on Operation Bedrock. So, we're going to have to be more careful, just as long as that we know what we're doing. And bugs do happen, especially when one of those things that I don't know if has been fixed, but usually there's a lag problem when you're dealing with lava, but then all of a sudden it just rushes at your face in less than two seconds. Like it literally just jumps three blocks within two seconds and then you're covered in lava without even knowing what's going on. I really hate when that happens. But other than that, we still got a lot of work to do. Once we're done with this quadrant, we're going to work on a bigger project. And once we get that done, we'll work on even more projects. All it is is that we're going to be mining every single block until it's no more. Until, of course, that we have our bedrock level and we make everything look pretty. We'll have our torches on the walls. We'll have torches everywhere. Even if you go onto a... Well, <laughs> there it happens again. <laughs> oh my god. Don't... Dude, oh, just stop. Just stop. Don't want to. Don't die. Up. Hey. Stop. 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 Drop and roll. Just don't worry about the lava. If you're on fire, just don't die because we don't want anything to get burnt up. This could be fixed. This could easily be fixed. Okay. All right. Just do that and it'll start to disappear. There we go. So. In any case, we still got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of projects to do. Once we're done with Operation Dome, we're going to focus one month entirely dedicated to Operation Bedrock before we make a brand new series. So hopefully within that month, we will be able to actually get work done. And I know I just remember what I wanted to talk about. I completely forgot about this. And now that it's going to be irrelevant, uh, there's no point in talking about it now. Of course, just a little bit of a sneak peek of type of deal that I'm going to be dealing with finals. So once finals is done, we'll be on winter break. So on winter break, we'll have a lot more time to actually do everything. Although I'm going to have to look up for some classes I'm going to have to take towards my new major that I want to deal with. So I'll talk more about that next week and let's see where we could go from there. But until then, thank you RCT Hipster and thank you Medusa for helping me out on this episode. So in any case, you guys have any final words to say? Hipster, you have any final words? No, I'm good. And hip or sorry, I was gonna say I was gonna <laughs> say hipster again. Medusa, any final words? Watch out for lava. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Lava, we have to deal with it now or later. Better to deal with it now, even though it's pretty much literal hell on us. So, in any case, Ooh. yeah. Lava, fire, it all matches. And besides, the nether is called hell on Minecraft anyways. So, have a great day, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. So, until then, I am SorkingZ90. That was RCT Hipster and FlexMedusa89. And have a great day. And as always, we will see you in the next video.